Hi guys. Well, actually, I was going to do an electronics repair video. Now, after yesterday's, we were looking at this Invalid Bug thing that we have on YouTube where people, including me, find their revenue is very much down in a lot of cases to the point where we can't really continue to run the channels. But some of us are still here, like Walking Wounded, yeah. And it's an interesting topic. So I looked at this yesterday and came up with some things which are actually correct, but came up with a conclusion that wasn't correct. And this is thanks to some of you guys, yeah, you guys. So I know a lot of you watch this and I know a lot who watched were my regular subscribers and other people coming along who are interested in this topic. And one guy in particular, Chris Willems, was basically saying, Rich, you're wrong. And uh, he kept on saying that until he convinced me to look at something. Yeah, so he says, Rich, you're wrong, and I can prove you wrong, basically. So that got me interested. Thought, yeah, okay, let's have a look. And it seems that actually Chris is right, and one or two others were on the same track. I was wrong. And it all comes down to the meal. You see this meal here. So, quick recap of this on the other video. I was looking at this. How do you make money from YouTube? You make money from advertising, AdSense. How much money do you make? Well, the money you make is this RPM. Revenue per meal. Meal being 1,000, okay? And if you want to know how much you made on a given day, you multiply the 1,000. So, say you made... 10,000 views on one day and your revenue per meal is $6.50, then you made $65. And that's exactly how it works. And I was saying that, well, in the case of my channel, the views are in fact increasing, but the revenue has decreased. So the only reason for that could be that the RPM, revenue per meal, has also decreased. I then wanted to prove whether or not YouTube were still charging advertisers the same amount of money and giving me less, or whether advertisers were now paying less money to advertise on my channel. And looking at the figures, this graph I produced, that appeared to be what's happening. So I went into my analytics and got to this very nice graph. I showed you in my previous video how to get here. I'm not going to do it again. I want to keep this short, but I will just link to my previous video in the description to this one. If you want to know how to get here on your channel, it's very simple. It will tell you. So this graph, which is over the last year, shows me on the purple line how much money YouTube are charging advertisers per meal, per thousand. And it's saying, look, you can see on the thing I'm hovering over here now, the purple line is playback-based CPM. Playback-based cost per 1,000 views, okay? And the RPM I am earning is the revenue per 1,000 views. And I was saying, well, all through last year, they're fairly consistent. And then from the start of the year, January 2023, I start to lag a little bit and the lag gets a little bit worse through the summer and then all of a sudden in September, on September the 1st, when I had a big problem, it dropped. And I could see a sudden drop in my income. This I didn't see it. And the reason I didn't see it is because I expect after April for my revenue to drop because it's the summer, so less people watch my videos. So it was masked by the fact of how many views per day I get. And the only way I could get to this was to use these things I didn't even know what they were called yesterday they're called metrics but basically the two th things that you put on the graph by doing this I've removed the amount of views I've just got to what I wanted to see which is how much are YouTube paying me per meal and how much are they charging the advertisers per meal and I got to here and I thought you shady lot look what you've done yeah all of a sudden YouTube Advertisers are paying the same or more, and I'm getting less. So that's where we got to. But it seems I made a bit of a meal of this, pun intended. And the reason is this. A meal is not a meal. Yeah, that's why I'm making a meal of it. Okay, that was the pun. So why is a meal not a meal? Why is this meal... 
not the same as that meal. And this is why I got it wrong. Well, on my graph, I'm showing revenue per meal. Okay, but the meal I'm showing is for monetized playbacks. It says that on the graph, in actual fact. So what's a monetized playback? Well, a monetized playback is a video in which the viewer sees at least one advertisement. If a viewer quits the video during the pre-roll advertisement this is the one you see before the video starts or two that you see it's still classed as a monetized view okay that's that meal what's this meal this meal is just 1000 of my videos whether they are monetized or not whether the viewer saw a video or not and this is why the conclusion is wrong let me show you now what actually is happening this time, I am really convinced I have this right, and I'm sure we'll have lots more discussion in the comments. So here we go. So, playback based cost per 1,000. We know what playback based are. This means it's monetized. This is every 1,000 videos where the viewer saw the advertisement, okay? What we should really go to is the CPM. This is just the cost per 1,000. Okay, and you can see that when we compare the CPM with the RPM, we still get this difference so it spreads further apart. Okay? There, it still happens. And you'll also see that sometimes the RPM on a given day is higher than the CPM. Now you're thinking, how can that happen? That can happen because I publish long form videos, or at least this is the way I believe it. I publish long form videos. My videos will contain more than one advertisement. A lot of my viewers watch a long proportion of the video, therefore they see more than one ad. Okay? And then sometimes it's a bit lower and it kind of crosses along a bit. But we still have this thing where here in from May onwards, where I sort of started to notice there was a definite drop that it is below, but we still get the same sudden drop. Okay. So if in actual fact the CPM isn't really changing much, the RPM's dropping here, we have to ask the question, why again am I getting less money per views? And the only real answer to this is, are YouTube still putting as many adverts into my videos as they were? So in other words, some of my videos are not containing adverts, therefore the viewer can't see the advert. The other question is, if somebody's blocking the adverts, are they effectively preventing me from earning any money from that view? So. I can't answer the second question, but I can answer the first one using the same graph. So now let's change the metrics. So what we want to know is, on this one, more metrics. I've already found it, so it's in a short thing now. I want to see, on any given day, how many views my channel got. That's the purple one. And I want to compare that on the same given day with how many ad impressions were there, how many adverts were in my videos. Okay, and now I think we can see what is happening. So we can see, go back over a year, that the purple line and the green line are much the same, in fact, as I mentioned before. On this day, I had 20,000 views nearly, but 43,000 ad impressions. That's because my long form videos have more than one ad. Yeah, that makes sense. And that carried on for quite a while into the new year. And then at this point, early January, January 1st, 2nd, 3rd, I'm still getting high views. Yeah, lots of people want to learn something new after new year. Why not learn to repair stuff? But the advertisers, and not advertising as much now, so I get less ad impressions now than I was getting before, okay? 
But I'm still clearly getting more than one advert per view. 25,000 views, 32,000. Compared to here, 21,000 views, 47,000. So I'm still getting more than one advert viewed per video. Okay, and that goes along a bit into January of this year. And they get a bit closer together. Okay. Quiet in the summer. But I'm still getting more than one ad per video. But not much more. Okay. And then all of a sudden, on September, I'm now getting much less. So from the 1st of September when I noticed I had this problem and a few days later I got this invalid traffic message from this point all of a sudden I'm now getting less than one impression per video huh? and I've never at, since that point had as many ad impressions as I have views okay so that is what's causing the problem that's why the revenue is down because, quite simply, YouTube are not putting as many adverts in my videos as they were. We've gone from roughly, in some cases, more than two per video to now less than one per video. And that is the answer. And really, this is what YouTube said, actually. So... What do YouTube say about invalid traffic? Well, everybody who has this problem has seen this screen and probably looked at it over and over and over again. But it does tell us how invalid traffic impacts your earnings. If invalid traffic occurs on your channel, you might see drops in views or earnings, okay? Fewer ads on your channel, okay? And it says may impact your revenue even while views remain consistent and that's what i have in fact views are more than consistent they're increasing and i can actually see the reduced amount of money i'm earning is increasing with the views okay but they are saying youtube themselves are saying or rather this is google google adsense but the two are tied together this is what may happen and this is what has happened okay so i can see now that the problem is down to this invalid traffic youtube are now putting less adverts into my videos and it's been going on and reducing for quite a long time so to sum up then we have to ask the question why why are youtube putting less adverts into my videos and as i say this has been going on for a year yeah you can see the gradual drop then the sudden drop okay my opinion well I can only think of two real reasons why YouTube would do this, but I can't see how they would benefit from the first one. So the first one is they are deliberately putting less adverts into my videos. Okay. But by doing so, they're also deliberately reducing their income themselves because those videos now without any ad impressions or with less, they are not earning any money from those either anymore. So effectively, it's kind of like cutting your own nose off to spite your face. By reducing my ad impressions, YouTube are also reducing their own income. And okay, for one channel, it doesn't matter, but spread across lots of channels, it certainly does matter. Two, I don't believe it's a bug. Okay, those sudden drop happened for me on september the first but if you look over the year you can see that gradually over the year i get less and less ad impressions on my videos okay the other reason i can think of is it comes down to external influences okay what i mean by this is that youtube for whatever reason are finding less advertisers willing to advertise on my videos now this could be down to the fact my videos are not as good as they were i mean i don't know do they in some way monitor i'm getting advertisers who are advertising and paying the money to do so for 1000 views must in some way be able to figure out 
if they are getting a return, i.e. are they getting more sales to cover that? Yeah, was the advertising campaign worthwhile? So that is another reason why. So maybe there's just not enough advertising to go around anymore because maybe the system's just overloaded, but that wouldn't cause a sudden drop in that. Another one, ad blockers. Somebody's going to say this is ad blockers. Well, we can see this has been going on for quite some time, but can you honestly say that on September the 1st, all of a sudden, a huge, like, millions and millions of people decided to get an ad blocker? Yeah, and can you say, well, the same thing happened with millions of people on other dates because all the creators were affected in the same way on other dates? That doesn't weigh up. So the use of ad blockers, I don't think, is supported by the data. Yeah, it doesn't show that as the cause of the problem. So the best I can come up with is the external influence. Something has happened. Yeah, something's happened externally that's affecting the amount of advertisers that will advertise on YouTube. Therefore, there's less adverts to go around. Yeah, YouTube are going from a situation where possibly they haven't got enough videos to put the advertising in, in any particular niche, to where they have got more material to contain the advertising than they've got advertisers. I guess another reason would be for that in my niche, are there just more and more channels coming on who are monetized? So therefore, we just get a small slice of the same pie. So the pie, the number of advertisers stays the same, but the number of people producing videos in that niche increases. So therefore, the advertising spread more thinly. Again, that wouldn't really be supported by the data the sudden drop on september the first it would be supported by the gradual drop over the year that i see but i think there are two different factors at play here if you hoped i would tell you on this video what the problem is i believe i've shown you what the problem is but i can't tell you the cause of it so guys comments below let's get our heads together somebody may be able to come up with something that says oh yeah this has happened or that's happened okay that, that fits the scenario but guys we know what the scenario is now yeah sorry i kind of made a meal of it the first time yeah but i'm sure this time i have it right but maybe you still think i'm wrong comments below okay hope to see you all again i'm definitely doing some electronics repair videos next because Guys, I know a lot of you want to see electronics repair videos, so thanks to those of you who've watched these ones as well. Okay, see you all soon. Ciao for now, guys.